Spirit Team, what subject are we discussing this week? Katie, an ordinary housewife from Florida, appears to have a large range of psychic abilities and has on occasion helped law enforcement officials to solve crimes, although she doesn't typically operate as a professional psychic. Katie dropped out of school in second grade to help care for a mother who became paralysed. And Katie is actually illiterate, yet has been observed writing quatrains in medieval French, similar in style and content to Nostradamus. But the most intriguing phenomenon is the appearance of gold leaf appearing out of nowhere on her face, body and clothes. Can my spirit team tell us what's going on? We're about to find out. Is Katie the gold leaf lady faking any of her abilities? Was Katie channeling Nostradamus through automatic writing? <laughs> The phenomenon for which Katie is best known for and which has received the most intense scrutiny is the spontaneous and instantaneous manifestation on her body of a thin golden coloured foil. This sudden eruption of foil has been observed at close range by many people and as a skilled magician confirmed it seems impossible to fake under the best conditions in which observers have seen it appear. Where is the foil coming from that appears on Katie's person? <laughs> Is Katie somehow manifesting it herself, or someone in spirit is causing it to appear? <laughs> Is there any way she could be causing some of the foil to appear herself in some form of trickery? <laughs> Why gold foil? Does it mean anything? Katie never resumed her formal education. She has remained functionally illiterate. She knows how to write her name, she knows the letters of the alphabet, and she knows numbers, but Katie cannot synthesise letters into words, and she can barely do simple arithmetic. She has earned a living primarily doing housework. All the investigators who have met and observed Katie always describe her in a positive way, as honest and cooperative, modest, and not interested in using her abilities to make money. The only money she made was a modest amount for agreeing to intimate physical examination, observation, and the time away from her day-to-day -day duties. Katie was investigated for over a decade by psychiatrists, parapsychologists, and UFOologist Berthold Swartz. The gold-coloured foil appeared on various regions of Katie's body, mostly on her face, arms, hands, and torso, 
but occasionally on her legs as well. It sometimes manifested in layers and sometimes the foil covered fairly large areas, 4 by 5 inch patches or larger. The foil has always been beyond her control. It could happen at any time. Katie regarded it as an affliction. Foil's appearance was often uncomfortable, accompanied by a burning or itching feeling and sometimes leaving behind reddened skin when it was removed. It was also frequently embarrassing. Because the foil could appear suddenly while Katie was shopping or elsewhere in public, Katie never knew what to say when it happened. Sometimes months would pass without any appearance of the foil, but then it would begin again and continue for weeks or months before Katie would be relieved of the affliction once more. Why would the foil not appear for weeks or months between each occasion? Could she have asked her spirit guide or guardian to stop this phenomenon at least while she was in a public place? <laughs> Katie's skin sometimes started to glisten and develop tiny droplets before thin layers of foil were visible, but reportedly the foil appeared also on Katie's clothes and on objects in her vicinity and even occasionally at distant locations. Schwartz had sealed containers from around his office with large quantities of manifested foil inside. Several different analyses of many samples reveal that gold-coloured foil is actually brass roughly 80% copper and 20% zinc. Considering the quantity of foil removed from Katie's body, for Katie to have sweated the foil through the pores of her skin, she would have needed lethal amounts of the metals in her system. Blood work and other medical tests of Katie never turned up the abnormalities one would expect if Katie had been manufacturing the brass from substances already inside her. All of Katie's psychic functioning began after she married her second husband, Tom, a difficult and perhaps psychologically abusive relationship. Katie could fit the profile of a typical poltergeist agent. With very few exceptions, poltergeist disturbances centre around a person, usually a troubled teenager or adolescent. It seems that poltergeist agents unconsciously manage to discharge their intense pent-up feelings. The foil first appeared on March 5, 1986, in the midst of an active period of paranormal physical phenomena the usual poltergeist-type disturbances, including the ports and the movement of objects. One of those events was the mysterious appearance of a carving set, but when Katie showed it to her husband Tom, he seemed to dismiss her, remarking, What good is it if it isn't money? Two days later, the brass foil appeared for the first time. The foil being brass could be symbolic. Was the foil appearance caused by the trauma of Katie's difficult relationship with her husband Tom? <laughs> Schwartz has since passed away and the study of this phenomena is still incomplete. While it was accepted as a genuine phenomena, whether the foil could be classed as an apport or manifestation is still unknown. Spirit team was Katie's foil an apport or a manifestation? <laughs> if Schwartz himself can come through and give any more insight on the foil now that he's on the other side, please do. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>